By sucking the fat out of your body, this is a creepy way to lose weight. Very quickly, it can help you lose 10 pounds. The man just won the hot dog eating contest, and as he gets into his car, a strange monster appears behind him. The man's body then starts to shake, which makes the car shake too. His body quickly starts to get smaller, like a basketball that has lost its air. When Dean and Sam hear about the case, they start to look into it. They see that the victim's innards are hurt, and his weight has dropped from 400 pounds to 90 pounds. Another case like this happens the next day. Her weight starts to drop quickly after she is knocked out from behind while working out. The fat on her body is quickly sucked out and she dies. The two brothers get to the scene of the crime and look at the victim. They find a sucking mark on them. While talking to the victim's personal trainer, they'd find the same suction mark on her by mistake. The trainer is still living though, which is strange. The trainer says she recently visited a mystery spa that claims to assist clients in losing weight without having to diet. The trainer gave the two brothers hints, and they quickly went to the spa. They think the spa has something to do with the killings of two people. They act as personal trainers who are looking for work in order to find out the place's secrets. A couple named Larry and Maritza, who own the spa, talks to them. However, they only have one trainer job open right now. As a result, Sam gets hired as a trainer and Dean gets hired as a kitchen lunch guy. He puts him in front of him because he is hungry, and it tastes great, so he steals a box. Although he wasn't planning to, eating the pudding made him feel dizzy. He tries to call Sam for help just before he passes out. While teaching yoga, Sam feels like something is not right. Just as they had hoped, every client has a suction mark on their body. Maritza is cups therapy for a client at the same time. As she talks, she tells the client that it is an old Chinese method that helps the body get rid of poisons and lose weight. It will leave a red pressure mark on the back, which is not good. The whole idea of cupping treatment is really just a front. She really did make the suction mark by sucking. After yoga, San runs into Mary, the sheriff of the area, who has just finished cupping treatment. As they talk, Larry starts to doubt that Sam is who he says he is. Sam goes to the kitchen later and finds Dean passed out next to a bunch of potatoes. It looks like drugs were put in the pudding. When Sam finds the chef who made the pudding, he questions him about why he did what he did. The chef doesn't seem to know anything though. It turns out that each client will be given pudding before their cupping treatment. As Maritza and Larry asked, the chef just adds the supplements to the pudding. Based on how things stand now, the brothers are sure that the couple has something to do with the last two killings. In the meantime, the couple has figured out who they really are. They are brothers. They are hunters. Why are there hunters here? They know that it will be very hard for them to get away at this point, so it makes sense for them to destroy the proof. Maritza wants to quickly get the fat out of the fridge and throw it away, but she thinks it would be better to eat it instead. Dean walks up behind her just as she's about to enjoy the fat. He sees everything and then ties her up on the chair. Maritza says she's not a killer and that she's just a pish taco, which means fish taco or bish taco, which means Peruvian fat sucker. What a great deal. She can help people lose weight and feed herself at the same time by sucking fat. She claims to have done no harm. Then who is to blame for killing two people? It turns out to be her brother Alonso who has trouble controlling his hunger most of the time. The couple has worked hard for years to build the spa, and they don't want Alonso to ruin it. That's why Larry fires Alonso and tells him to leave right away. At that very moment, Sam walks by. He hears screaming coming from the kitchen. When he gets inside, he finds that Alonso has killed Larry. She breaks down in tears when she finds out that her brother killed her husband. Because they have always followed one rule, eating enough to get by, the couple has been able to live with people peacefully over the years. Her brother Alonso, on the other hand, is a dangerous man who almost killed a client in treatment because he sucked away too much fat. In the kitchen, Maritza had to put him to work and only let him eat the fat from the jars. There have been two killings before though because Alonso just can't control his desire for fat. She tells the two brothers where Alonso might be hiding so that he doesn't kill any more innocent people. Now, the brothers go to the basement with their knives and flashlights and decide to search on their own. Sam is struck from behind because he doesn't know the area. Alonso ties Sam to the ground with the closet 
and Sam tries hard to move it away. Alonso still beats Sam, and he is knocked to the ground again as he tries to get the knife. Dean comes just in time to cut off Alonso's proboscis as he attempts to give a fatal blow to Sam. Alonso dies right away because he loses his proboscis, but Sam is saved. The boys decide to let Maritza go even though she is also a monster because she has never hurt a person and has helped them solve the case.